Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. I wasn't going to do any more Forza Horizon 3 Forzathon videos, but a V8 supercar is up for grabs this week. First challenge, get three stars on a danger sign in a Ford to win the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon. Second challenge, perform 10 kangaroo skills in any car to receive 55,000 credits. Third Third challenge, complete a race in a hyper car to receive three wheel spins. And fourth challenge, win a race in the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon to receive 35,000 XP. So yeah, if, you've been, if, you, if you haven't seen the, the V8 supercar in the auction house or if you don't have the Mo Sports All-Stars pack, I suggest doing this Forza-thon challenge this week. So, the shipwreck danger sign is 91 metres. 299 feet and 100 yards. So I'm going to do this in the Ford F-150 Raptor, the 2017 model. Now this car isn't bone stock, so I was just starting for where I just started from. Now this thing is not bone stock. I've tuned this car, maxed out for the Clever Girl achievement, which I'm in the process of um, doing right now. Anyway, here it is. Do I get it? Sure do. And that is three stars. Happy days. Boss, I'm giving that three stars out of three. Take it easy. I don't think I'll take it easy, Kira. But I have shared the tune. It's called Clever Girl. And the description of the tune is Clever Girl Achievement. You will see a video for that in the next couple of days. And there's confirmation I've got my V8 supercar. Next up, the 10 kangaroo skills. You could go to the pink lakes at the top, but I, I usually go around about where the dunes are, south of the red of the airport, as well as um, when it starts to turn green. Um, now, you can do this in any car, this challenge. So, kangaroo skills, for those who don't know, it's, it's doing multiple jumps in quick succession, as you could just see, kangaroo. So, yeah, making sure your car hops like a kangaroo, basically. So. Oh, hello! That's another kangaroo skill. So, yeah. Just find somewhere bumpy and you'll get your kangaroo skills done in no time. If you're struggling and in the green stuff, go to the dunes and see how you go. Or try somewhere else, whether that's timber mill, although it's probably not the best depending on what car you use. While these skills aren't popping up on screen, I can tell you that a lot of those are kangaroo skills. But yeah, the Pink Lakes is another good good place to get your kangaroo skills done but yeah it's um they're relatively simple to do you just gotta find somewhere bumpy and you'll be all sweet and as I said you don't have to use this Raptor you can use any car so yeah and now I'll get confirmation that I have my 55,000 credits there it is so now to the next challenge which is just to complete a race in a hypercar so considering where I was, I just went to the Neo circuit, which was the figure eight desert circuit. Since we only needed to complete the race, I decided to do one lap in the hypercar division. Bought myself an Aventador, because it's probably the cheapest hypercar in the game. And yeah, since you only have to complete the race, doesn't matter if you finish first, doesn't matter if you finish dead last, as old mate just takes himself out at the bridge. But yeah, um, go for your life in this. And but I end up finishing dead last there, somehow. But there you go, three wheel spins. So let's check out what I get out of these wheel spins, if it's any good. Normally, I don't do too well with these. Anyway, old school Aston Martin V8 Bandage. Do I get it? Nope. 5,000 credits. Not off to a good start here. Next prize, the Ultimate GDR, a car that's not in Forza Motorsport 7. And guess what? I'm not getting it. I only got 50,000 credits. Third wheel spin, the Jaguar XJ220. Do you think I'm going to get it? Nope. Almost got it for 45,000 credits. And the last challenge is to win a race in the 97, number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon, the V8 Supercar. So for those who don't play Forza Horizon 3, uh, the day one car pack for this game was the Motorsport All-Stars car pack. Featured a bunch of race cars like um, heap of GD cars like the Huracan, Audi R8, Dodge Viper. It even included James Courtney's 2016 Commodore, Holden Commodore V8 supercar as well as 
Chaz Mostert, Mostert's V8 supercar. This car, the number 17, has been a Forzathon award every now and then in Forza Horizon 3. It hasn't been a Forzathon award since last year. Um, now, I did get one of these cars in the auction house back in the day, so yeah, if you don't have the most for all stars car pack, but you want a V8 supercar, do this Forzathon challenge this week, or else you might be struggling to find one of these in the auction house. Because I was doing last week's Forzathon, I forgot to do the video. The Porsche 959 was the prize. I only just missed out on getting the car. Time ran out. Someone was selling it at the auction house. Very lucky to get it because a lot of them are going for 20 million credits. But with this one, if you're an Aussie and you love your V8 supercars, definitely get this car. And I think it's and the physics of this car is somewhat realistic if you're not going off-road. I feel it's a bit more slidey than it is on Forza Motorsport 7. I suppose they're just making this car a bit of a challenge to drive, fair enough. The top speed, very similar to what it is in Forza Motorsport 7. But yeah, it's kind of cool to have these race cars in the game. I don't think you'll see a V8 supercar in Forza Horizon 4, so yeah. And I have had a look at the achievement list, and there are going to be Forzathon events in Forza Horizon 3 happening after the release of Forza Horizon 4, which is interesting. But anyway, just get the win. That's all that matters. So whatever difficulty you like is fine. Anyway, 35,000 XP. That will give you either one or two wheel spins. I end up getting two. Audi RS4 is the best price here. Do I get it? No, nope. 10,000 credits. And the last one is the Infinity Q50 O Rouge. Do I get it? I don't think so. 15,000 credits. I don't have much luck with those. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Just having a look at the Australian countryside. And there is Marcus Ambrose's V8 supercar on top of a hill. If you like the video, smash the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos, subscribe for more content and tap the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. Also, Discord is in the description below. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheese.